Hello once again, my people. It is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Last episode, we found out that Kazuichi and Nekamaru are... have, um... Nagito Komaeda! That's your f name! Um, they tied up Nagito and the, uh, in the old... <laughs> I swore. In the old abandoned, um, a building. I can't speak right now. I don't know why. Uh, and then I hung out with Abuki for a little bit because Kazuichi was like, I don't want to hang out with you. You're gross. You're fat. You're ugly. He didn't say any of that, but that's what I like to believe. <laughs> he broke my heart. And, uh, yeah. So now I believe we're just going to go through more free time and, uh, it's going to be fun. Let's get started. All right. Let's go. Bam. First off, let's check on Chibi Me. And actually, while I do it, uh, Jesus Christ. You poop so much. Okay. Let's do, let's give you some, some gifts real quick. So in that way, you know, you're not as despair filled. There we go. I'm like, I can give you, I can give you some things. I can give you some things and some stuff. See, like, look at how cute you are. Look at you, you cute little freaking chubby Chubby Coconut juice. Let's give you some coconut. Coconut juice. We're just going to fill up your hope meter, so in that way your despair meter doesn't go down, so in that way, you know, you don't die. Okay, sounds good. Sounds freaking good in my opinion. Uh, ooh, and let's get you some cinnamon tea. You know, get that nice, neat, good-ass cinnamon. And I'm pretty sure you won't even use up all of my cinnamon. I'm pretty more, I'm pretty sure you won't like eat to drink all my cinnamon tea. Bam. And then cute. Cute. My Snake Me's hope meter is all the way up. Snake Me is brimming with hope, girl. All right. Ding dong bing bong bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nighttime. Uh is it Ahem. Emergency. Emergency. This is not the same. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. I am so glad I stopped it right here. On, Whoa. Hurry up. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. I don't like the sound of that. Come on, hurry the F up. Okay. I mean like I'll try to hurry up, but curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who would actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can just ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Alright, well, let's leave. Let's go to Jabberwock. Okay, it's not gonna fast forward us like it did before. Um, oh, hi, Mikon. What's up, girl? What you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm such a slowpoke. I'll head over to the park right away. But, but, I'm not being so on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. Uh... I tripped again. Uh, I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, if, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. God, she's seriously so pitiful. She really is, like, goddamn. All right, let's leave. First island. Okay, um, Jabberwock Park is easiest to go around this way. Right? I think so. I think so. Hi, Miss Ranch. How you doing? Okay. So let's go over to the Central Island. And then the quickest way of getting to the Central Island is to the left. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the quickest way to get there. God, what is Monokuma planning, though? Like, hello? How is she, though? Okay, nobody's waiting over here. Bam, level up, level 22, bitch. All right, what do we got in, oh, uh, that's an arcade game. Hi, Akane. <laughs> I'm the first one here, the curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? Hey, hey. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked over to something so idiotic. Bastard. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Okie dokie! Thanks for waiting! 
Thanks to the miracle. Thanks to the miracle of waiting. There we go. That's the that's the voice. I feel like I should blow my nose before I try to do his voice. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one to hear. That means I got the dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know that I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? If this is... <laughs> You're so precious. If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Huh? huh? You, you haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys is you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? Yeah, the fucking... Okay, oh, and there's also a fucking TV. Um, well, obviously it's the arcade machine, but, like, I didn't see the huge TV. Well, what is this? Uh, isn't that, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin, or recreation time to begin. Don't tell me. You're going to tell us to play this game? Hey, what's this game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. <laughs> After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then... Then... It is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, 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 don't compare it to these amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I brand made a brand new game instead. F famous game? I shall now present. Now then, I shall present it. Oh no. Ta -da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. It has Hope Speak Academy on the background. Does this have to lead with their fucking memories? Because if, if so, I don't fucking trust you, bitch. Bam, riddle solving professors like Layton, Professor Layton, or like, you know, Phoenix Wright, or cute collecting cute monsters. Pokemon. Poketo Monster! Black White! Poketo Monster! Black White! That's the only thing that I know how to say in Japanese when it comes to, you know, Pokemon. Stupid! Don't say such silly things! What if we get weighed down by all the porters? Oh, me. Twilight Syndrome is an, invention, is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side schooler. I have no interest in weak things like video games. Nicobo, shut up! Do you know how much work it takes in order to play video games and try to crack jokes every now and then in order to to uh, entertain an audience? You're welcome. Um, it's fucking hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it makes you, first off, sound like you're going crazy. It's okay though, we still love you. And I don't even know what generation a game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Not entirely. I personally like adventure games. Laura Croft, heard of her? <laughs> Don't disadventure games. Besides, there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons to make one. Hold on, sorry, my capture card is sliding off of my desk. There we go. <laughs> no, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Man, I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title! And what's the point of this game? Hmm? Hmm? 
I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part. Uh, what is it? Right. This game is gonna be your next motive. How is a video game gonna be a motive, though? The motive you need to kill people. Again, how is a video game going to be a motive? The fuck? After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive. Actually, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, what does, does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can. You've got to say no. It's a trap. Hey. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's obvious. That's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure but about are you sure you want to do that? Hey, um... Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. In the contest of a preemptive strike, ah, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. Oh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know? It is really all right for you to, for your enemy. Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like. Even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What? The heck? This is bad. Uh, hey, hey. What, what, what should we do? But... Uh, even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There is no mistaking that. You are right. Uh, you are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But... But wouldn't it be... But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive will become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey. Th that's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> It's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is just kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakia Teru Teru. After Fu Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... But Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You too? What are you saying? Don't you really- do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... Uh, it's- it's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm... That... That might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive Oh. 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 Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never, I'll never allow ever it. let another killing happen. Already ding on me, mom bitch? Okay. All right. Cool, so we're just gonna fall asleep. It is please reach your now yep. then. Okay, cool. Yep. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um, me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... <laughs> I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. Alright, so then what are we gonna do about it now? A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. 
in this messed up world, there's no way that I can know what's right. Man, already this is just getting some dark shit, dude. My god. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenge new things is definitely your past successes. Those always, uh, those always hold me back. All the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People who with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything that they want without worrying about anything. Man! <laughs> Man, being successful is tough! Yeah, but like, some of us want to be successful though. So like, shut your mouth. Ding dong, bing bong, bitch. What's up? Good. Now then. Yep, I get it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I should go to the restaurant for now. All right, time to go eat some motherfucking food, bitch. As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. What? Oh, Fuyuhiko. Huh? 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 Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? I mean, were you planning on going somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You say that you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got hey, didn't I tell you that I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? Well, what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Ch -ch Shut up. What makes you think you have any right to question me? I I'm not trying to question you. I mean, I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Ser seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. Okay. So it's got to do with something with that game then. What do you know for you, Hiko? What the fuck do you know? That guy. He's going to be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Ooh, being a sneaky, sneaky little bitch, huh? Gundam! Gundam Tanaka! What you got, boy? This too must be the will of causality. Your lines are so long, but like, I stand. The wind is very quiet. I do hope it is not an ominous portent. Ooh, he feels something. He feels something that's not super cool. Peko! It appears. I did see Fuyuhiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to think about. I'm going to go for a little walk. Huh. How come you're the only one that talks to Fuyuhiko, girl? Why are you the only one that talks to him? Or that he'll let talk... Why does he let you talk to him? That's the question. Okay, cool. Got the morning crew up in the lobby. Yeah. Apparently, Mikan has never played video games before. She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Alright, Mikan. Oh! Was that the... No, I wanted to talk to Mikan! Fuck! Okay. Fine, I'll take it. Oh, hey girl. Ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for everyone to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Uh, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way that we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if we tied him up forever. What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagato earlier, but I kind of brought him- I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. 
And not only that, I just remember that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiru pushed the tray in my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up in the old building where the murder took place, right? Alright, let's go back down. Let's take the stairs. Let's go f to the fucking... Can I... Is there anyone new in the lobby? Nope, everyone left. Uh, outside. And luckily I found all of the Monokuma bears inside of this island. Or at least I'm assuming it's via island, so... Hey girls, what are you talking about? That's Nagito's food, right? <laughs> you should feel honored that Mahiru asked you to bring him that. So you better feed him quickly. She says like that like he's a pet. It's kind of harsh. Alright, I'll just let you two just do whatever business you have. Like, it's fine. Uh, Kazuichi! Uh. Man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Huh? Oh, what's with the tray? Are you going to go eat someone with a nice view? Hey, hey. Uh, uh, hey don't tell me. Hey. You're not going to have a picnic lunch with Big Sonia, are you? No, you can have you can have Sonia. I don't care. Like, yes, yeah, she's princess, but I'm gay as fuck. I'm looking for my prince. Thank you. It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well. Oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, want to switch with me? Hmm. Well, that's obviously a little <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I'll let you handle it, Hajime. He he totally ran away. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go try to feed Nagito. See what all this is about. You can't. No, no, no! This old building is being renovated! You can't go inside! If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Oh, uh, what? You know about it too, Hajime? Um... Because Nekamaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Manami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Starve? Oh. It's okay to go inside then? Ta -da! Yes! Make sure you tell him the truth thoroughly before he swallows! Got it. Thanks, girl. Don't need you to fucking, you know, be all fucking up in this pussy. Like, I can do it. It's fine. I'm just here to deliver him food. So, Nagito's tied up in the back. Instinctively, I gulp back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the doors of the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Oh no, I don't wanna... Hajime? This bitch is bound up from his legs with rope and has his shit probably handcuffed or something with chain. They want to make sure that he isn't going anywhere, bitch. Bye. Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Shut up. Wow. I'm so happy. Don't be fucking happy. I'm I don't like you. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from the mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feel at the moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. You're the one that kind of looks kind of scary, bitch. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. Come on, eat it. Uh, you're not going to feed me. No, use your fucking tongue. It's a muscle. You can get shit with your tongue, bitch. I'm sure it's small enough because, you know, you exceed poison through your silver-tongued mouth. I bet you can eat it just fine with how you are like that. It's just toast. Use your tongue. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. <laughs> he gay as fuck. Oh, I get it. Freaking Mahiru. 
That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to my hero? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Oh, hey, look, it's us. Hajime. By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. Oh, so you played it. How is it? Is it cute? Don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh, well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? I mean, maybe, but like, bitch. I don't want to play it. Don't make me fucking play it. Well, that is, you guys should confront it. All. Hope springs when you confront despair. God, you're fucking annoying, and I don't want you to talk to me. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Nope. Hey, Hajime. Use your fucking tongue. Use your tongue. <sighs> Damn it. I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone while I'm doing nothing about it? Someone else is. No, nothing good can come from about from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. Alright, free time, bitch! Uh, you better fucking give me Kazuichi... Just, that's all I want. I just want to go hang out with my best boy. I want to go hang out with my best boy. Are you not hanging out with me because, like... You just want to go get your pussy wet for Sonia? Where- okay, hold on. That's not the one. Where is he? Where is that man? Uh, let's see. The Snagito... Kazuichi, he's in his cottage. So, and he's... Pretty much right across from mine, right? Yes. Knock, knock, bitch. Uh, who, who is it? It's me, you motherfucker. <sighs> Hi. Oh my god, right. You have all kinds of mechanic stuff in here. What's up, Kazuichi? Oh my god. Shut up. I just want to hang out with your face, bitch. Alright, fine. Ibuki. I just want to hang out with my best boy. Like, can I just do that, please? He's probably not going to be available for this whole entire chapter. I just want to hang out with my best boy, though. Okay. And then Gundam. Anyone on the second island? Okay, then what about the central island? Ibuki? Wait, where did Ibuki? Wait, Ibuki? Ibuki? Oh, you're in your cottage. Okay, well, where's your cottage? Um, let's see here. Mahiru... Ibuki. Ding dong be mom, bitch. Yes, yes! Alright, let's see what your cottage looks like, girl. I want to see what your cottage looks like. Oh my god, I love it. There's food, comics, everywhere. Is that... Is that Snooky from the Jersey Shore? Oh, my vagina's out. <laughs> it better not be! Um... Yeah, fucking electric, acoustic... Girl, we love a good-ass fucking... Oh my god, a stereo, too, in the bathroom? We work. We love. <laughs> Ibuki doesn't play any video games. Ibuki would rather play a real instrument than play a song game. What should I do? Let's go invite Ibuki to hang out. Then, let me introduce you to my best partner! Today, Bo me, uh, Buki taught me uh, about the musical instrument she loves to play. The guitar, bitch! It feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Ibuki a present? Definitely, bitch! Alright, what you love? Okay, so I gave you headphones, I gave you American Clacker... Desperation? Alright, number 75. Desperation, a, col a collection of favorite songs by Tatsura Furuta, a folk singer slash songwriter who ushered in a new era of folk music. 
All right, let's give that to you. Ah! Yeah! Oh, our hearts are connected as one. Awesome! I was just thinking about how I wanted this right now. Why, hello. hello there. What do you want to play today? Play? Are we done with the club? Hey, hey. What are you talking about? Playing is a big part of music clubs. Do you know what's the most important thing about playing music in a band? The most important thing in a, um, a sense of unity? Uh, a sense of unity? A bitch is a musician. He knows. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You got it right. <laughs> yep, that's correct. It's all about that. The band members performing as, as a singular unit on stage. This is an ideal live concert. That's why the greatest music is made. <laughs> In order to do that, it's practically important to eat cake with everyone at school. <laughs> so your training today is to roll your eyes back to the back of your head. Am I doing it? I can't see it because I don't have my, ca my camera in front of me, but like, am I doing it? That's impossible. Also, you gotta learn how to break guitars and how to splatter pig guts. <gasps> Those are the three basics. Please, enough already. Huh? Oh, my, 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 my. <gasps> are you gonna give up before you even do it? I have a reward for you, you know. Boy, if you're able to withstand the training, I'll make your stage costume. You're the one who's going to make it? <laughs> of course, sewing is a minor necessity when you're in a band. I see. I never expected that from you. But now that she mentions it, everything Ibuki wear is wearing re looks really unique. I can totally tell she puts her heart into making her clothes, so they're not just another commercial product. I feel like I'm finally able to understand Ibuki a little better. Cute! Yes, we love a good hope fragment! Alright, after being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted by the time that I returned to my room. Alright! What are we doing? It's still light outside. There's still plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere or I should spend time with someone. All right. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and pause the episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me learn about this game that we call Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Um, and just hang out with the Buki. That's basically all that we did this time right yeah that's basically it uh make sure to hit the like comment subscribe buttons down below you're gonna have a fellow youtuber out make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads and i will see you in the next episode goodbye